folks, JD here, and this is a bit of a backward unboxing, because to begin with, the box is twice the size of the table that I'm currently using as my unboxing table, and also because I've already taken this out and I've already tested it. So what we're going to do today is just have a little look at the car, have a look at the overview like usual, and then go over what exactly is in the package, but without actually opening the box. I hope this is okay. So this car is the WL Toys 12428, and it comes as a recommendation from K6 LSN. Thank you ever so much John in Idaho mate. This is a fantastic recommendation indeed. Okay, let me move everything to one side and let's just focus on this car to begin with. And here we go. This is the top side of the car. As you can see, you can't, well you can't really see a lot of this particular type, but we can pinpoint a few things. We have a spare tyre on the back here. This is a proper rubber tyre, the same as the tyres that are currently on here. It's just held on by one single locking bolt to the middle. You can just take that off and replace the tyres if you, if you, uh, if you prefer to if you do end up running one down more than the other uh, and working our way towards the front we have the battery here now the battery is held in by a little push pin if you just pull that out and then out comes this little wishbone looking little bit of plastic when the plastic is out this is what you have you have this huge battery this is a 1500 milliamp hour 7.4 volt battery and it is charged not using USB but using a proper charger which comes with this particular uh, with this particular car but I'll show you that in a little in uh, in in a couple of minutes now let's have a look at the front of this vehicle look at this an absolute monster so as you can see from the front we have a little bit of a plastic shield here coming up we have two LEDs and then working our way up to the top we have a set of four LEDs here as well now these LEDs work as soon as you turn on the car they come on they're not very bright when you stand quite close to the car but as soon say within about two to three foot but as soon as you drive the car back to about 10 to 15 foot then you can see they are extremely bright at that distance so at the front here we've got a mix up of a lot of different uh, bit of gubbins here which is holding everything in so we have if I just put this to one side. So we have a suspension rack running right the way through the middle of the car. That then allows this car to have full suspension, independent suspension, left to right uh, as well. So that when you pull one up, only the one moves and they don't move at the same time. They're totally independent. All of your little arms and locking arms here, they're all plastic, but they're made of quite a thick plastic. Uh, and then and it's the same for the right side as well. Now if I hold this up here, you can see on the inside there's a spring in the centre here. That is the suspension arm. See it moving as I move the wheel? So that is where the suspension is on the front and that arm just moves directly through the centre of the car. Now, if I just tilt this back a little bit, you can see that there is a shield plate here. This is aluminium. So if you do hit any rocks, any stones, if you're coming down hard like I have a couple of times on this thing, then you're not going to dent or even scratch. Now you'll see, there we go, you can see in the video tomorrow exactly what punishment I put this car through and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Now working our way back from the shielding, you have this motor housing right here. This is totally waterproof, it is encased, it does state on the box it's waterproof as well. As you can see it is quite thick grade plastic and there's nothing that can get in from there. Now, okay, so let's look at the back of the vehicle. So the back of the vehicle, we have this drive shaft here. This drive shaft is a mixture of plastic and aluminium, and it feeds directly into the motor housing here, which then connects directly to the motor. Now, as you can see, this little drive shaft here, I think sticks up a little bit. It is, it sticks up a little bit higher than the suspension struts on the back. And I thought that was gonna have a little bit of an issue whenever we came to come over some steps or some rocks or anything like that, but it doesn't because it twists and turns with the back so ensure that it at any one point isn't going to hit any rocks and cause a lack of power to these two massive back wheels. Now if we look directly at the back of the car you'll see we have two huge suspension struts either side here which gives roughly either side here and which gives roughly three inches of movement but not just up and down but left and right directional movements as well. That is excellent for crawling rocks. You really need something that is even going to uh, going to move and give you a lot of uh, a lot of space to pass over those rocks. Here's a bit more of a close up of one of those suspension racks there. Really quite nice, made out of uh, plastic casing, but then a metal rod on the inside there as well. Okay, so that that is the little bit of technology that makes up this car, but what are the actual technical specifics? So, the motor in here is a 540, it's brushed, uh, 
It has a top speed of 50 kilometers an hour or 31 miles an hour, whichever you prefer. It has obviously six LED lights. You have four on the top here, two on the, on the front here, right, at, right at, the, at, at the front of the car. The charge time for the battery is three hours. The battery lasts you 10 minutes. The control range from your transmitter is 100 meters and it's a mixture of uh, metal as well as very high grade very thick plastic parts as well and of course as I mentioned it's waterproof and of course four-wheel drive to boot as well so that is the car it is a beast it weighs 1.4 kilograms and it is massive I think it's a 1 in 12 scale if I'm remembering correctly and it is absolutely huge so that is the car let's put all this back together and let's have a little look at the transmitter so the transmitter is pretty standard it's quite nice it's quite small it takes four AA batteries which just fit in the bottom here and this char this transmitter does not allow charging so you have got to use shopboard batteries like I have in the bottom here just to ensure they work or if you charge your own batteries pop them in but you're not going to be able to charge them from the transmitter. We have a nice little foam covered steering wheel here. It has quite a nice movement to it. It's not very big uh, but it does fit in with the, the overall size of the transmitter. Then we have throttle and steering trim as well over here. These two little uh, these two little knobs up here. I didn't have to use this at all. Uh, all this is, I just ran as factory standard um, when I took this out as well as we've got a mode button down here for four modes I didn't have to use that and the on button then off from there now when you do turn on the car and the transmitter the LED light on the transmitter is going to constantly flash until you move the uh, the analog stick until you move the um, the throttle and or the steering wheel and then as you can see the LED goes from flashing to solid but it does bind automatically now it feels good in hand it it does feel a little bit weighted towards the bottom obviously because that's where the batteries are but it's good I like the internal I like the internal um, antenna I like the fact that it has a little holder there as well so you can you can hang it up if you really want to um, and all in all it feels really good the steering wheel feels nice and as I say the scale of it it just all fits together really well and it's all really well proportioned so that's the transmitter and as I say you get a hundred meter control distance out of this little guy so what other bits do you get? Right, so you get a huge bag as well. Inside this bag, as I'm sure you can see, you get oh, some, you get two manuals. As with a lot of WL toys, we have seen some really great manuals, and this is no different. It shows you exactly how to use the car, and then if you keep on going through, it takes you through blown up schematics of the car as well, so you can get new parts. Every single schematic has a part number, all in all, I think that is excellent and I will spend a lot of time going through that because I love reading schematics. I just have a thing. So there we go. Also, we have RC use instructions as well as general troubleshooting if you if you come across any issues. The front page is English and then the other pages then are Chinese. So let's put those to one side. There's also a couple of bits. So because the plug in this charger isn't suited for UK. I was actually given by Banggood a little adapter so thank you ever so much Banggood for that and then inside here also we have so a nice little tool in there as well as a little screwdriver should you need it. So pretty standard car little bits that you get but all in all it's quite a nice little package. So that is everything and this thing is just oh do you know what it's just amazing absolutely incredible uh, at the end of this video is going to be a little bit of teaser footage from uh, tomorrow's drive not a very not not a lot but it's going to be just a little bit there should you want to see some it's going to be after the intro uh, after the outro so there we go so what do we get in this package well we get the manual and all the gubbins that we've just looked at we also get the car now it's the car that it just makes this <laughs> absolutely such an incredible incredible vehicle so there we are folks, this is what you get in the package, you get your car, you get your transmitter and you get your bag of goodies as well. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening folks, I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already please like and subscribe, hello and welcome to all our new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy racing. mechanically oh yes mate up on three wheels maybe i should stop